Hello, in this video I'm going to show how to run LAN design inside Revit with the Run Inside technology. As you know, when you install the plugin of Run Inside, you will get this button here that will make this ribbon appear with the commands to launch Rhino or Grasshopper directly from Revit. I'm going to open Rhino. I have already opened here a model where I have a LAN design terrain, as you can see here. And now I'm going to open Grasshopper to use some components to bring this terrain into Revit as a topography object. So I'm going to reference this terrain first. I will use this land design pipeline. I double click on the terrain to reference it. Land design terrains are meshes, so I'm going to explode this terrain to get the resulting meshes. And this has generated three division meshes. So I'm going to pick the one on the top, which is listed as the first one. Now, I need to deconstruct this mesh. I will use this deconstruct mesh component to obtain the vertices. I can see these vertices are grouped in two lists, so I'm going to flatten them. And now I can use a Revit component to generate a topography from site, a topography from points. I connect these vertices to these points, and I've got now the terrain in Revit as a topography. So I'm going to hide these components. Since I have this terrain linked with the terrain in Revit, that means that every change I do on the control points will update here. And also, any operation I do on the terrain will update afterwards. For example, I can add a terrain path, I define the width, the angle, and finally I pick a curve. And I've got the path here. I may need to recompute the solution in Revit. So we'll get also the path. But if I go back to Rhino and select for example, the control points of this path, I will see how the results update in Revit. Now, let's insert a few plants here. I can run the plant command. I'm going to select, for example, this species, define an insert point, and now I will duplicate this pipeline to reference a plant instead. I will need a component to deconstruct the plant that now is available in the visual art components but be, will be available soon for lands components as well. Connect this object. I need to set this recursive to true and I will get the resulting meshes of this plant. Now, from Revit, I can use a component to generate a direct shape from geometry. I will connect these meshes into the geometry. So I can already see here the plant. This is now a generic model. If I want it to have the planting category, I will need to go to input model category picker, select here a planting category, and connect it to the category input. Now, if I select this object, I can see this is a planting. So, since everything is linked, I can insert a few more plants, for example, with the paint mode. I 
I will recompute the result here. And I will get all the plants directly in Revit. <laughs>